So you clicked on this video because you just started either your photography or your videography journey and you're wondering what type of lens you should invest in. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain the differences between zoom lenses and prime lenses and which one is probably going to be best for you. If you're wondering why you should listen to me, my name is Dane Visuals and I've been a content creator for over 10 years and between that, I've learned quite a few things. So I'm here to share it with you. Let's start with a zoom lens. So what a zoom lens is, it's basically a lens that is able to go forward and backwards or zoom in forward and backwards without you having to physically move. So the advantages of having a zoom lens is that it has lots of versatility. So based on what you're shooting, if you're doing stuff like concerts, if you're doing stuff like events, you don't necessarily want to be having to move you know, in the middle of a crowd. So having a zoom lens is gonna give you a difference in terms of like the type of shots that you're able to get. It also is gonna help you a lot because you don't wanna to have to be moving up, up and down too much. Another pro of having a zoom lens is that it's very cost effective. The good part about having a zoom lens is because it's able to zoom back and forth, you don't have to invest in you know, different lens options. So it's gonna come in very handy. Another big factor when it comes to zoom lenses is image stabilization. So a lot of zoom lenses come with in-body image stabilization. So what that does is that it allows you to basically have some leeway when you're holding your camera in your hands so you don't have to worry about you know camera shake and stuff like that. So zoom lenses are very good for persons that want to shoot events, persons that don't want to be like in the middle of a crowd. It just gives you a lot of versatility. But now we're gonna touch on prime lenses. So what a prime lens is, a prime lens is a lens with a fixed distance. So the only way for you to move forward and backwards with your prime lens is for you to physically go forward and backwards. So the advantages of having a prime lens is, is that most prime lenses are generally sharper than zoom lenses. In, I mean, all lenses are gonna be different case by case, but on a general consensus, prime lenses tend to be more sharper. Also with prime lenses, they tend to have a lower aperture. So you find that if you have a prime lens, and a zoom lens with a similar focal distance, you're gonna find that the prime lens goes to a very lower aperture. That's gonna give you a lot softer bokeh. And for me personally, this might be like my personal bias. I feel like prime lenses also come with a little bit, you know, nicer image quality. Again, you know, there's gonna be prime lenses that are better than zoom lenses. There are gonna be zoom lenses that are better than prime lenses. But for me personally, I find that you get a higher quality when you use a prime lens versus a zoom lens. But this is all case by case, because remember, if you're shooting events that require you to be able to, you know, make quick decisions and, you know, do things without having the time to change your lenses, you might want to use a zoom lens. So if you're a beginner photographer and you're trying to find a perfect guy to help you get started on your photographer journey, I have a free checklist that you can download. All you have to do is go to freechecklist.danevisuals.com you don't know that guide and it will help you on your photography journey. Let me know if you want to see anything else on that guide in the comments, but that is definitely going to help you get started on your journey. But overall, what I would definitely say is choose your lens based on the type of work that you're doing. If you're doing concerts, if you're doing, you know, fashion shows, if you're doing events, a zoom lens might come in handy simply on the basis that, listen, you want to get those shots fast. You don't have much control of the environment. You just need to go in and get out like a fly on the wall. Zoom lenses might be it for you. But on the other side, if you have some control, maybe you're doing portraits, maybe you're doing studio sessions, and you have the ability to tell your model what to do, you have, you have the ability to take time on your shots, you might go for a prime lens where you can get you know, really creative, you can get better quality shots, and you just have time to really experiment. All in all, the lens is not what determines the photography, but it's based on the photographer. Choose a lens that works for you. And if you enjoyed this video, the YouTube algorithm says you love this video right here.